What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends. And we're going to talk a little bit about the Awakening system here. Uh, since I got back from vacation, I've kind of been diving into this head first, trying to go through and get my teams built up for the Iron Twins Fortress, and also trying to take advantage of the system a little bit to get uh, some of our champions awakened. Uh, here with this uh, Soulstone summoning system. But however, after a couple of days, I'm kind of noticing a bit of a problem. Um, it's, it's a big problem, actually. And I think when Plarium introduces new content to this game, <clears throat> they really need to figure out how to uh, get people on board with it a little bit better. Uh, I remember when I used to work in the corporate world, I used to be in charge of onboarding uh, with the certain programs that we did. And you have to give people an incentive to want to do something. You have to make them feel like it's worthwhile to do it. And I just don't really feel like that's happening with this system. Uh, it's interesting. When Hydra first came out, I did a video talking about how it was just really bad content for people to do. I know a lot of people have warmed up to it since. Plarium did go and make changes to Hydra to make it a bit more accessible to people. Uh, it's still a pretty tedious part of the game to do. And most people, once they got Mithrala Life Bane, were just like, that's enough, I'm not doing it anymore. Um, but, you know, they've been adding some incentives there. They have put some of these Soul Stones uh, into the Hydra Chest so you can get that, you know, once a week once you get that finished. But the biggest problem here is the rate at which you're able to earn the currency uh, to summon these Soul Stones and try to get the Awakening Unlocked with the Blessings for your champions. Now, take a look at this. We have 550 of these mortal soul coins that we have available right now uh, which basically means we can't do anything with those at all we can't uh, trade them in for anything because we do need a thousand to get a single mortal soul stone that's really all we can do there so let me go ahead and go back into the dungeon here and you can see we are on spirit tonight and we have gone ahead and done stage 15 i've managed to clear it i have a team that's about a 90 95 percent farm rate on this which is pretty good. Now you see here we can get 155 to 175 uh, of these coins and then we have a chance to get the soul essence or the eternal soul essence which I've still yet to see what you can use these for. Uh, I will tell you that on the keys that I ran I very rarely see these drop. Uh, these have a very low drop rate. But you can do the math here and just to show you I did actually refresh with gems today uh, because I was uh, testing these teams and also wanted to make a video on the team that I was using so I did want to grab some extra keys uh, to do that so uh, don't do this though I, I do not recommend this at all it's a massive waste of gems um, it, which unfortunately slows you down even more but this hopefully will kind of put this in perspective when we talk about it on this video uh, let's say you do come in here you got your six keys every night you got your team that you can farm level 15 with so basically just assume all you're going to get is these mortal soul coins um, and then basically multiply these by six. Obviously that's, you know, not going to get you a thousand, which means if you come on here on, on, a, on a normal night without the special incentives that they had before where you got a little bit of extra stuff when you came through here and cleared this the first time, I mean, you're not even going to be able to get a single um, salt pull from one night. You can come in here and do this. Uh, you would have to actually refresh with gems to do another six keys if you just wanted to come in and pull uh, one of these mortal soul stones. That's an absolutely atrocious rate uh, for being able to acquire these. It's terrible. And so it really doesn't make any sense when you think about how difficult it is to even acquire the most basic ones here. It really makes no sense to waste your gems on getting those refreshes. And I think the problem that's gonna happen is, uh, I was talking with HG Senti, uh, he's the math whiz, uh, not me, but uh, <laughs> we were kinda talking about it and uh, he was saying, you know, it actually makes some more sense to come in here and just buy the soul stones. It's more efficient to actually just spend the money uh, when you compare it to how many gems you're gonna waste trying to get like even this amount, like 20 here. Uh, being able to just come in here and buy it for 20 bucks versus the cost of the gems and the energy that you're going to use uh, on that dungeon 
you're better off just buying it which is a, is a terrible deal in my eyes <laughs> just, that just doesn't make any sense you're basically not giving people any incentive uh, to actually run through and play this new content and this was kind of the problem we had when Hydra first came out was really there's nobody wanted to do it the content was difficult now I would say the Iron Twins boss is not quite as difficult as Hydra it does have some pretty crazy stat requirements once you get up into the higher ends but the thing is like I know on my one account um, that it's only like four months into the game I'm able to do like up through stage four and five my free-to-play account I've basically gotten up to like 12 and 13 so far um, so you do it's a little bit more accessible in terms of the champions you have and you know what you can do with it so I don't think it's as hard as Hydra it is hard to build champions for level 15 for the accuracy and resistance requirements but you can pretty much access this content at a variety of levels of where you are in the game but you really aren't going to be able to take advantage of the awakening system since you're getting such low currency like if, if you're down here and you can only farm like stage 10 you know you're getting 600 currency per night if you put all six keys into it so you can get a soul stone <laughs> once every two days basically uh, to pull one for those awakening and I can tell you where this has hurt me a lot is on my free-to-play account where I where I can't farm the higher levels and I'm not getting very many of these and I can't really pull anything and when I do pull obviously we're not getting the champions we want even with the wish list so it just delays progressing through the system even more so the thing that I'm really concerned with is what's going to happen is after a week or two of this you know this is new right now everybody's excited for it you know a lot of us are making content about this it, it's as an in-game player it's great to have something new to do and a new system to kind of experience. But at the end of the day, it just doesn't seem like this is gonna be something that you're gonna be able to progress through quickly. And it's, I, I feel like people are gonna get bored of this really, really fast. And I can tell you like, even right now, even at Endgame, I'd rather go spend my energy farming Fire Knight or doing something else. I don't wanna sit here and do these six keys and, and spend the energy every night when I'm not really getting anything back for that uh, in terms of being able to pull uh, to get more of these awakened champions. So, I don't know, guys. I don't know how it's going to work out. I feel like, again, Plarium just doesn't really think these things through when they bring new content into the game. Uh, it was nice they gave us that package at the beginning that, that had the soul stones and things that we could pull and gave us some of the currency so we could try it out and uh, buy some of the souls. Uh, but they're going to have to fix the drop rate here. And I know we're getting it from the Hydra chest now. I know you can get it from some of the events. Uh, let me actually check and see here if there was any in this uh, tournament here. I think we did. Yeah, there was there was some in the uh, Fire Knight tournament here. So, But, you know, not everybody is going to do these. And it doesn't make sense a lot of the times. You know, if you're not running events, especially not, you know, right now it's a fusion, obviously. So we're going to be going through and doing some of this stuff. But you can see how they have put these into these events. But if this is basically like a non-fusion or something else, you know, we don't always do these events. Um, like artifact enhancement, normally uh, I would be saving my silver if it wasn't for an event like the fusion. And that's the thing. So it's it's great that they put these, uh, they put these in here. Actually, I don't see any on this one here so it's going to be varied in terms of where they uh, provide you the extra currency from I still don't think it's enough I, I don't think there's enough of it available uh, to really get me too excited about uh, the awakening system in general so that's really going to be it for this video guys just wanted to point out this to me is a very big problem with this new system let me know what you guys think if you agree if you disagree would love to hear your comments down below uh, as always hope you guys are having a great day thanks as always for watching and I will see you again next time.